Hi, what do you do when you're low carb, high fat, and you still want to have treats for your kids? Well, you can make them yourself, which is always a great idea because you know exactly what's going to go in them. If you've read any of the reviews about gummy bears or gummy worms, the sugar-free version on Amazon, you'll know that those are not a great option for us or for our children. Um, they have sweeteners that cause digestive distress and uh, probably act as a laxative better than a commercial laxative medicines. So we're going to make our own because we don't want to give that stuff to our kids. So what I'm starting with is 12 ounces of hot water. It's probably more like warm water by now. And actually it shows about a cup. So maybe at my Keurig was off a bit. So it's a cup of really warm water. And we're going to decide what flavor we want to use. Now I'm making this for the kids and I have a strawberry flavor. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's by Frontier and we really like this. Um, this is a strawberry flavor I'm going to use. There's a blueberry. I have an apple. These are grape, which I may do next. And then watermelon. So you can find lots of flavors that don't have icky stuff in them. I'm going to use two, actually I'm going to start with one tablespoon and try it. Often the amount that you use will vary depending on how much water you're using and how strong you like it. So you add your flavoring. And then I'm going to add just a, a, um, about a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon juice. I know I'm making strawberry, but the lemon juice really helps. It's a little more than a quarter of a teaspoon, closer to a half a teaspoon. Um, and then we're going to use sweetener. Now, with the sweetener, you want to add a little more than when you're tasting than before you put the gelatin in. And we're going to put four tablespoons of the grass-fed gelatin. But I'm going to put 20 drops of liquid sucralose. Um, four, five. That is 20. Good job. Oops. And I'm using this grass fed gelatin. This is Great Lakes grass fed beef, uh, gelatin made from grass fed beef. And you can use Knox that you can find at Walmart or your local grocery store. Just use an unflavored gelatin. I don't like the sugar free gelatins because they generally have icky ingredients in them. I'm going to give that a stir. See if we've got enough sweetener and enough strawberry flavor. Mm, that tastes really good. I want it intense. So I am going to do another about a teaspoon of the strawberry flavor. The lemon adds a lot to it as well. It's really nicely sweet. So I don't know that we need to add any more sweetener to it. Those 20 drops may be sufficient. You could also use stevia and you could use, that is so good. You could use stevia or whatever liquid sweetener you prefer. You could use something like a confectioner's sweetener. You want something that's going to dissolve fully and not be too grainy. And I may even add more sweetener to that, we'll see. It's hard to tell as thin as it is. Oh, excuse me, not sweetener, more strawberry uh, flavoring. Now this is the four tablespoons of grass-fed gelatin. And again, use your knocks if you want. Um, stir as you add and sprinkle it in. Don't dump it in or it will get clumpy on you. Now these are going to be white. You could add food coloring, but I'm not crazy about giving my kids red dye. Another thing that you could do is you could puree a couple of strawberries, um, especially if they're in season. Puree those, strain it to get the seeds out, and that would help give it the red color that we expect when you have strawberries. I'm going to sprinkle it in. I'm stirring as I go. And you just want to get it all dissolved. It doesn't have to be super, super hot. This gelatin especially will do okay with water that's, or yeah, with water that's pretty much room temperature. You could also use a tea. When I made the gummy worms for throat lozenges, I used a sinus soother tea, and that worked really well. So if there's a strawberry flavored tea, you could use that as well. Whatever liquid you're using, um, you just mix in the um, gelatin. And it's hard to sprinkle it because I'm getting conscious of time. Now, once I get this in, I'm going to set that aside and mix it well. And I'll taste it again because, like I said, sometimes your sweetener and your flavor disappears. There is a little bit of taste to the, um, the orange can. And I do get this. Y'all are going to ask where I get it. I get this at Amazon, and I can't remember the price on it. It is more expensive than the Knox because it is grass-fed. 
I've used both. I've used the Knox when I've been out of this and needed it right away. And gelatin is good to have on hand. Some people put it in their coffee. Um, they put it in different drinks. It's supposed to be great for gut health and it's supposed to be great for bone health. So if you have osteoarthritis or painful joints like in your knees or shoulder, it's supposed to be really good and healing for that. There is a green can version that doesn't gel that some people use instead. Um, so I use what I can get my hands on. I do have a little, few lumps in this that I can see because it's clear. Let's see where we're doing on flavor. That's really pretty tasty. I am gonna use, and it's thick already, I am gonna use another tablespoon of strawberry because I want it strong. Um, and I'm gonna use a little more sweetener because I want it strong. And I'll see if I need lemon juice in this. It's so interesting because where I used three tablespoons of strawberry, I might make the blueberry and use two tablespoons and it seemed like too much. So you can't always tell. The, the recipes don't translate evenly from one thing to the next. But I've used three tablespoons of this um, and it's good stuff. I use that and um, you can use it in cocktails too. This is really good. I think we finally found a sweet spot with this. Okay, so it's gelling up and I'm going to put it into molds. And again, probably if I had strawberries, I would puree them and add a few just for color. These are candy molds. These are not ideal. Your silicone molds are really a lot better for this. But I'm going to fill these up and I'll put it in the fridge and it doesn't take long at all. It only takes close to uh, well, it depends on how warm your liquid is, but it's about 20 minutes or so for it to set up and you can have gummies. Now I'm using a heart mold, which would be great for Valentine's Day, especially if I had added the strawberries to make it red. You can use whatever molds. And I have read, I haven't been able to do it, but I have read if you let this set up for a little bit, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and stream it out as gummy worms so that you don't have to have the molds. We're using molds for flowers and hearts right now, uh, but the silicone molds do work better. So let me fill these up and then we'll see what they look like. So our gummies are ready and these are the strawberry ones. And again, kind of wish I'd pureed some strawberries, but they're really cute. This is a heart and I know it's going to be hard for you to see the shapes. This is a tulip. And these are molds I just got at Michael's and my hands are clean. They're stained from working with other things. Um, this is a little flower. And I was gonna show you the silicone molds are much easier to work with. This was the heart mold. This is a candy mold that I just got at Michael's. But if you run a toothpick around the edges, you can kind of pop it out a bit onto the plate or into your hands. Oops, <laughs> my hands are sticky. And that's how they look. There's their little hearts. Um, I do have gummy bears and you can buy gummy worms online and you're just gonna pop them out with a little toothpick. If you leave um, some of the gelatin on the sides, they're a little easier to dig out. And like I said, if you're using a silicone mold, they're easier. Now this was a strawberry flavor and the flavor wasn't as strong before I made them, but now that they've dried, let's give one a try. And they're not as chewy as traditional gummies, but they're actually pretty tasty. So these are a treat that you can make for your kids. I know that my kids' friends, when they're over and I make things like this, they're really impressed. They're like, wow, your mom makes homemade gummies? Um, and you can also let your kids make them themselves. And my daughter is in middle school, and she's getting to the age where it's really cool for her and her friends to be in the kitchen creating. And they're also learning as they go. These are my low carb gummy bears. And I hope that if you make them for your family, you enjoy them too.